Two federal agencies have been using special funds to ramp up hiring this year. And this is directly in contrast to what Congress implemented earlier, which stated annual government growth should be capped at 1%. The Department of Veteran Affairs has grown to about 400,000 employees recently, and they're still hiring. And part of the reason is veterans exposed to burn pits overseas are now eligible for care. So this resulted in about 4 million veterans receiving medical screenings. And the burn pits, you probably heard about it, it's from Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, all these different locations. And every veteran enrolled in VA healthcare, they're eligible and they should receive a screening. That way they can identify if there's any kind of toxins in their body. VHA has also been authorized to increase a lot of the salaries for the nurses. The salary cap went up to about $203,000 a year, which is a lot more than the GS pay scale. If you look at the GS pay scale right now in a large metropolitan area, that thing tops out at $183,000 a year. But VHA is able to give their nurses a higher salary. And also, if you look at some of their doctors, some of their physicians, it's over $400,000 a year. Now, these are these are specialty doctors, but they're able to increase that, that pay scale a lot more. The VA also increased their cap when it comes to bonuses. Now, for a special contribution bonus, it's up to $25,000. That's an on-the-spot award. But despite all of this, if you look at the salary increases, you look at the bonuses, VHA is still having a hard time having a hard time getting enough nurses, getting enough housekeeping aides, nursing assistants. So the VA is definitely hiring. They're aggressively hiring in a lot of different areas. So if you're a veteran, if you're a veteran, I would look at the VA. That's one of the first places I would look because out of all the federal agencies, and there's over 400 federal agencies and sub-agencies, out of all of them, the VA has the most veterans. Right? And I think number two is probably SSS, which is Selective Service. So what type of jobs are currently available in the VA? Here are some of the top jobs that you can apply for today. First is a medical officer. Next is a nurse. Then we have social work. And then miscellaneous clerk and assistant. Looking at those top four jobs, if you're a veteran right now and you have general experience, if maybe you were in a combat occupation specialty, maybe you did something and you don't think there's a role for you in the government, what I would look at from this list, I would look at the 0303. Okay, so the next agency that experienced swelling is the IRS. And we all saw this coming from last year when they had billions of dollars injected into that organization. So you see job announcements all over USA Jobs for IRS. You see 12-month roster, 12-month register, there's, there's this huge push to get more people into the IRS. And right now, they have about 90,000 employees. And that is the largest the IRS has been in the last 10 years. Last year, if you were to call the IRS, there was a 10% chance that somebody would pick up the phone. Talking about customer service. Now, that rate has increased to 90%. So after this video, if you decided to pick up your phone and give the IRS a call, they would probably pick up the phone. And here's the, the picture that the commissioner of the IRS paints. They want the public to understand that this growth in the IRS, this isn't to shake down more taxpayers. This is more to provide assistance, to provide the customer service to the taxpayer. They also announced recently, earlier this year, they're not going to be doing surprise visits to homes anymore. I don't know if you've seen one of these actually take place, but one happened near me a few years ago where you see these vans come in, these government vans, probably about three or four of them, and then 15, 20 IRS officers. They have IRS on the back of their shirt. They go into the house, and they spend about 24, 36 hours. They even had the bright lights, kind of like the lights I'm using right here. The bright lights were shining on the house. It was like this whole dramatic production. Well, it looks like they're going to be moving away from that. I don't know if you know this, but a few years ago, the IRS attrition rate was horrible. People were leaving all over the place. They had 40,000 employees quit at one particular point. And they introduced this new incentive. This new incentive increased pay from 10 to 20, 25%, depending on what role that you held. It also authorized the IRS to give retention pay for people that were more likely to leave. I don't know how they judged if somebody was likely to leave or not, 
but they did authorize retention pay. Obviously, the IRS is still hiring, and the OPM has actually granted it expedited hiring authority through 2027. All right, so let's look at the top four jobs that you can start applying to right now in the IRS. Number one is information technology management. Number two is the internal revenue agent. Number three is management and program analyst. And number four is tax examining. Like I mentioned, a lot of these job announcements, they're on the 12 month roster. This means you apply one time and you're considered multiple times throughout that 12 month period. So you could potentially apply once and be considered 12 different times without having to apply any more times. So definitely take advantage of that if you see those positions. If you see that the specialized experience in the job announcement, if it matches your experience, it matches your qualifications, apply to those job announcements. Both of these agencies have also been doing a lot of hiring events lately, and you can attend no matter where you're at in the world. They're virtual hiring events. And you can usually find out about them by going to USA Jobs and scrolling all the way down. They have a list of hiring events. But not every agency reports it to usajobs.gov. Sometimes they leave it off. So what I've been doing is I've been consolidating. I've been collecting these hiring events, and I send them out through email once a month. And if you would like me to email that to you, then sign up for my free newsletter down below. If you are still looking for a government job, you might have some questions about the federal hiring process. I did a live stream recently. I answered over a dozen questions about the federal hiring process. And if you're interested in that, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.